Welcome back to Cotton Creations. So I'm super excited today because I have another quick and easy DIY project for you guys. And acrylic signs are super popular right now. And the only thing is, is that they're also super expensive. So I'm going to be showing you today how to make your own personalized acrylic sign. And they're so awesome because this particular project is affordable, is simple, quick, and easy, as well as it adds a nice, elegant, and classy touch to your event. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. If you're interested, please stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss out on the next awesome video. Oh, and I'll also link all the details in the description box down below so you guys can have the links so you can purchase the same supplies that I use for this project. Let's hop into it. So to get started, I'm going to leave the white film that comes on the acrylic plate. I'm leaving that on. And what I'm going to do is from the center point of the disc, I'm going to measure eight equal sections and I'm going to put a dot. Um, so that way I know exactly where to drill the holes. And I'm using the smallest drill bit that I have in my kit for this particular step. Once you're done drilling all your holes, what you want to do is remove the white film from one side of your acrylic plate and that way you can go ahead and begin to lay your decal on. I purchased my decal from a vendor on Etsy so don't worry if you, you know, don't have a circuit cutter or anything like that. There's a ton of vendors on Etsy that you can purchase your decal from and it comes fairly quickly and it's very easy to apply. Now that I'm done applying the decal, I could leave it at this step, but I'm going to take it a step further and jazz it up with some florals. So what I'm going to be using is some floral wire and a pool noodle. I'm just going to cut a small piece of the pool noodle so that I can apply it and have a base for my florals to go in. So what you want to do is use your floral wire and push it through your actual holes that you drilled and uh, all the way through your pool noodle and that way you'll be able to attach it to your acrylic sign. So don't forget this step as I did. I forgot to pull off the back side of the uh, white film that comes on the acrylic disc, but it wasn't that big of a deal because with a little tug, it was able to tear from around the floral wire. So now you're ready to apply your florals to your pool noodle. Um, I'm just using some hydrangeas and some roses and a little bit of greenery, but of course you can use whatever you choose to. This project also works great with adding balloons as well. So that's something that's an option. Uh, you can also add, you know, like some trim or anything else to jazz it up. You could do like a rope around the edge to give it, you know, another different type of look, especially if you're doing like a rustic type look, that would look awesome. Um, there's all sorts of things that you could do to like really make this your own and really personalize it. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you're wondering where I purchased uh, the acrylic plate from, I got it off of Amazon, um, and I will be sure to link that information in the description box below so you know exactly where to purchase and uh, what vendor I purchased mine from. So once I got done the florals on that side, I knew that I needed to add a little bit more greenery. I wasn't exactly sure where to add it at, so I just played around with it until I found a good spot for some more. And this is the finished and final look. I absolutely love it. I added some more greenery to the upper left hand side of the sign, and I really love this look. So we aren't done. I'm going to actually show you guys how to make this or use this for a backdrop stand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some heavy duty fishing line and I'm going to push that fishing line through the upper two holes that we drilled. And then I'm gonna take the fishing line and I'm just gonna simply knot it about five to six times on each side. And you'll have to like play around with it just to make sure you get the right height. Cause as you'll see initially, mine was hanging uh, one side was a little too low and the other was a little too high. So after I made the proper adjustments and got it just right, it was beautiful and then just to give you guys a full visual on how this would look as a completed backdrop I did a balloon garland and I added that to the look just so you guys can really see how this sign will look as a backdrop and I absolutely love 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 the final look um, this particular decal says welcome baby Sanusi and the date so of course this is appropriate for a baby shower but you can always do these for weddings and change the wording on them to like Mr. and Mrs. in the last name. Um, you can use them for so many things. And what I love about this project is that it's easy and affordable. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and like, let me know what you guys think of this project because I really like it. And just so you know, for the balloon garland, I just used some, uh, twill string that I had around nothing special so you can get this same look and effect oh and I forgot to mention that this would also be a great idea for a baby's room a nursery uh, all you have to do is attach it to a wall or put it on some type of easel stand um, tabletop easel stand that is and you can also do that for a candy bar table as well putting it on a tabletop easel stand all right so please let me know what you guys think of this DIY project I tried to cover like most of the tips and tricks throughout the video but if you guys have more questions um, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss out on the next awesome video thanks for watching